Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Taking a look at our solar conditions, right now the solar wind speed is at 501.6 kilometers per second with a density of 8.4 protons. A solar wind advisory is also in effect. A stream of solar wind flowing from the crescent-shaped hole in the sun's atmosphere has reached the earth and is now applying pressure to our planet's magnetic field. This could cause geomagnetic disturbances in polar regions on January 21st and January 22nd. Taking a look at our sun today, we have zero sunspots to report as 26 96 faded out. It was still earth facing but turning away and today it is no longer a sunspot. That is a current stretch of one. That is the eighth day of this year without a sunspot. Looking at our KP indices, we are sitting at a two and our 24 hour max was a three. So not quite storm levels just yet. Taking a look at our SDO, we still see that corona hole that is turning away from earth and behind it, we see spotty patches of more corona holes that could form. So we could be dealing with more solar wind in the days to come. We'll keep an eye on that. I wanted to talk about blizzard warnings issued as winter storm Jackson brings snow and wind to the plains, Midwest, and northern New England. Snow and strong winds will cause blizzard conditions in parts of the plains and Midwest on Sunday or Monday. Dangerous travel conditions could lead to road closures in some areas. So far, Jackson has brought a foot of snow to parts of the west. Winter storm Jackson will spread through the plains in Midwest into Monday, where heavy wind-driven snow could result in blizzard conditions at times. Jackson will also bring a mix of snow, sleet, and freezing rain to parts of northern New England early this week. The snow and strong winds from Jackson will be caused by a strong low pressure that will track from Kansas late Sunday into the Great Lakes by early Tuesday. The north of that Lowe's track, dangerous travel conditions are expected, which could potentially lead to road closures. And what's happening right now? Light to moderate snow from Jackson is currently affecting the Rockies and Plains, including parts of Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico, and western Nebraska and South Dakota. The snow is impacting Interstate 25 corridor, including Denver, Cheyenne, Wyoming, and Pueblo, Colorado. So far, the Denver metro area has received 2 to 5 inches as of late Sunday morning. Up to 20 inches of snow has been reported up in the mountains of Utah. Parts of Salt Lake City metro area saw a foot of snow Friday into Saturday. Blizzard warnings have been hoisted by the National Weather Service from northeast Colorado and northwest Kansas, northeastward into the central Nebraska northwest of Iowa, far southeast South Dakota, and southwest Minnesota. So it covers a very large area this weekend. The blizzard warnings include Goodland, Kansas, North Platte, Nebraska, Sioux City, Iowa, and Mankato, Minnesota. More to report on this as we'll keep an eye on this particular storm as it moves across the country right now. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.